Hello everyone, this is James from One Objective, and in this video we're going to be going over our stern mount for the Shearwater 125, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is James from One Objective, and like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, we're going to be doing our stern mount install on the Shearwater 125. It's pretty simple. Um, this is our prototype, so it may vary just a little bit. I mean, the shape and everything of it's going to be very similar, pretty much identical. Uh, the only thing it'd probably be missing is just a couple holes won't be in here. <clears throat> so, pretty much all you need, you need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 16 ratchet and wrench, or two wrenches, whichever you prefer. And there's a bunch of different little options for this thing. Um, so to mount your Torquedo, it's going to come with a spacer plate. And this will be mounted to here. And the reason for this is to get it high enough to be able to use your steering cables underneath this mount. So you, when you put your Torquedo on here, the actual steering bracket will be at the bottom. And then if you want to mount a regular motor you'll buy it with this option and this will all be on the same part on the site and you can also buy it just like this if you just want to run a rear power pole just like this so if you just want a center mounted power pole you can buy this bracket by itself and then you can also buy it with this or you can buy it with that or you can buy it and kit it any way that you want we also because of the way the shear water was made it's made to set two power poles on each side if you want to that is an option but they're normally mounted straight well it interferes with the way that we're putting on the torpedo or all the other stuff so we actually turned them a little bit modified that and you'll be able to just through bolt them through here with the bolts that come with the power pole so you'll still be able to mount your two power poles and you'll be able to mount them three different ways if you want well let's go ahead and start the install um, you'll get it come with four um, 1032 two inch screws and they're just going to screw in to these four right here so let's go ahead and start by doing that I don't never snug them down. I always start them all first. This is a no drill deal. We're utilizing all the holes that are from the factory in the boat. After you've got them started, go ahead and start snugging them down. After that part's done, you'll have a bolt like this. And it will come with these two spacer blocks here. It you'll just slide underneath here. Just like that. And then you'll put your washer and lock nut on. And then Go ahead and snug that down. And now since we're gonna be putting the Torquedo on here, this plate right here goes right on top, goes over your bolt. And if you buy this as the kit, it will come with these screws. And 
then we'll just snug it down just like that that is it mounted on here no flex and like I said earlier you can still mount two power poles right on the side that's what you want here and here and we left access for you to be able to bolt them that's what these curves are for that's why this is sticking in just like this so you can just bolt it right up there try to make it as simple and easy for you as possible to add these on later in the future if you've liked what you've seen in this video please like and subscribe to this channel because uh, we got a lot of cool products and everything like that we do fishing videos we do a lot of other stuff out here in the outdoors so hope to see you on the water